Good morning. It feels like forever since I have done a journal. Let's just be honest. The year 2020 has been pretty bad. I haven't felt crafty. I, I just haven't done much in my craft room, but it's November now and I'm starting to feel crafty again. Hopefully life will pick up. And so I'm going to do a journal. This is from, I did go to Disney for my birthday in September. I think we were there for four days. It was a great trip. Um, and so I'm going to make a journal from that trip. I don't really have any ideas yet. Let me just flip through all my paper scraps, show you my paper scraps, and then maybe I'll think of an idea. So I already, these are all the receipts. So this trip, um, Epcot has a food and wine festival that we attended. And so we ate a lot of food. That's why there's like 20 million receipts because every time you stop at a food booth, even if it's just a little food sample, you get a receipt. So yeah, kind of went crazy on the receipts. I already went through them all. Um, and if you see my past journal, journal, sometimes like I'll tape the receipts and stuff into the book. I'm not going to do that this time. There's just so many receipts. So what I did was I just did like a spreadsheet, listed like all the product I bought, all the food. This is all the food receipts. Talking about food. We spent, no, oh, here's the food list. $765 on food. Yes, that's crazy, but it was my birthday trip. And one of the dinners, my birthday dinner was $182. So yeah, it seems like a lot for food, but went a little crazy with chocolate. Just um, if you're interested um, on my main channel, I did do vlogs for this whole Disney trip. So if you want to see like all the food we bought and ate and stuff, um, it's on my main channel and I'll do a link below on one of my vlogs so you can get started if you're interested in seeing this birthday trip. So I'm just going to fold this somehow and put it in my journal somehow. I don't know yet. And so, and then this was a, a list I printed out of all the Halloween treats that we were on the lookout for. And then I've mentioned before, if you go to Magic Kingdom, they have this virtual game that you play with your wristband and you use these cards and they're free. So it's more geared towards children, of course, but anyone can play. It's Disney. Everything's for everyone. Um, so I definitely see adults playing besides children. But if you have a kid who loves video games, I highly recommend looking into this video game. It's called Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom. So it is a free souvenir. And then some gifts, some, no, I'm sorry, some pamphlets. They did actually have pamphlets um, with the pandemic. Um, a lot of places got rid of paper. Like you can't get menus a lot anymore, but Disney did not get rid of their pamphlets. And so I picked up a couple, figure out how to work it into a journal somehow. And then at Epcot, that they have this Kids a Fun Stop shop. Um, each land has one. If you're interested, just Google Disney. It'll tell you about it. Um, I pick it up because it's got free postcards and stickers in it. And being a junk journal journalist, it's perfect for my junk journal. I guess I went crazy on the pamphlets. There's another one of those cards. Some napkins. Some, this was wine list from somewhere oh with it being like you don't have regular menus in, that much anymore because trying to keep down of stuff that people touch because you don't want to pass the virus along so a lot of places are just giving paper menus and so whenever i can i keep those paper menus because they're just going to throw them away when anyway so why not take them home and put them in my journal some hotel information we ended up staying at the swan I don't know what I'm, how I'm going to work this into it. Halloween theme cup. Um, a gift card. So we did this oh, toilet paper roll. This must be from the hotel room. And then our room key card. I did a scavenger hunt. I actually have two of them. I don't know. Work that in somehow. There's the map for that virtual game I was talking about. Luggage luggage receipts, um, some more pamphlets, uh, my budget car information. I got more. I was at Epcot more than one day, so I got one every day. And then, I don't know, another room key card. I don't know what that's from. <laughs> Boarding passes. This was a box that had a uh, sweet treat in it. 
and then this was a bag when I went to this place at downtown Disney. So definitely not as much paper stuff um, as past trips. So, um, but it's not, you know, enough to work with. I'll figure, figure something out. And so then the next step is I will go upstairs and I will look through all my photos and print out some photos to go with the journal. And then I just have to think about how I'm going to do it. I don't, I don't have any ideas. I got to think about it. Good morning. I am done with the junk journal. It's actually probably the thinnest junk journal I've ever done. Um, I don't know. I just wasn't really inspired this trip. There just wasn't a lot of paper ephemera because of like, you know, the COVID restrictions. Um, there's just a lot of less paper given out anywhere. So um, definitely didn't get as many paper souvenirs like I normally do. So anyway, um, I am using the scavenger hunt guide as the base of the journal and to keep it closed I just have this wristband so at Disney for most of their events they'll have these um, wristband gift cards and they change them like this is specific to this food and wine event and it's got Remy he's the mask mascot um, I like the gift cards because you can put as much money as you want on it um, it makes um, buying food at all the little stations throughout Epcot a lot easier, a lot quicker. You just scan it, and then after the trip, you have a nice little collectible um, gift card. All right, so um, opening up the map. So what I did was I attached the sheets of paper with these two brads. Um, these brads just look like screws. You can find a lot more decorative brads at craft stores, but this is just what I had. So I took my boarding passes and I glued them together. I added this little pocket um, from a bakery. I cut the cardboard down. I got my room key card and I got my airport parking receipt card just tucked in there. And on the other, just flip it up. On the other side is more of the boarding passes and a sticker. I cut down um, the COVID instructions for the hotel room. And on the back of that, I have a piece of uh, the park map and then here is the wine list from be our guest and on the back of that is a piece of the park map and then I have our goodie checklist and another map so each map is like the different parks we went to and then here is my spreadsheet of everything we bought all the food and then I added the little stickers that they gave out at the Kitcott stations in Epcot so yeah not much there <laughs> But there just wasn't a lot of paper this trip. And I don't know. I guess this is all I did. I, I like that I used the scavenger hunt. And just looking at it, you don't know that there's paper inside. And so I'm pretty much done. I will probably go and add a couple of photos. Um, I just I have to wait for some more photo paper to come in. So I have a sprocket um, and a prints paper like this. Like like a little sticker like sm pretty much this size and so I'm just going to print out a couple photos from the vacation and just spruce up these little pages that don't have much on them and that's it just a small souvenir journal from our last trip to Disney I miss my bigger journals but you know what I work with what I had and I just didn't have a lot of paper to work with. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons and I will see you later.